All right, hey guys, this is, uh, this is a cutaway of the new fork. This is a Showa separate function fork, the SFF, otherwise uh, known. So um, this gives you a good idea of what's going on internally. As you can see here, which uh, we have on the right fork leg, the one nearest to me, you'll see the spring. Now the spring on this is obviously heavier than if you had a spring in each fork leg, but obvious benefits to that, so we'll go into that. Rather than having two springs, one in each leg, which creates a lot more friction, by having the single spring on the right side, we're able to reduce friction by 25%. Now, of course, it still has the um, Kashima coating on the inside. We're the only manufacturer to offer that on the fork, so it further reduces the friction that you would normally get. Now, one of the big features, though, is right at the top of the fork. You'll see this blue knob up here and some of the internal workings. What that is, is that's a preload adjuster. So the only bike that you can go ahead and adjust the preload on the front fork, just like you would do for your rear shock. So as you would set sag properly for the rear, you can now do that for the front. And it's not a big process. There's no shims to change. You don't have to take and disassemble the entire fork assembly. It just uh, turn to this knob, and you can uh, take away or add preload to the shock. So that's a really cool feature. Um, something you can do uh, in between motos or while you're practicing, pull in and make some changes to get that optimum balance for the track you're riding. Now, as we move over to the uh, to the left side fork leg, you notice well, there's no spring there. Well, that's, like I said, we uh, put the spring only in the right side, but now the left side utilizes um, a larger piston there and uh, handles all your damping. So compression on the top of the fork cap there and then rebound down on the bottom. And uh, what it does is uh, just provides great dampening characteristics. And of course, both fork legs, um, the fork tubes, have the titanium nitrate coated fork tubes, just like we run on our factory bikes. So uh, something that you're not going to find on any other bike in this class either. Now some of the benefits, other than what I've mentioned, is now when you go to send your forks in to get them changed or valve for your uh, rider weight, um, your speed, etc., you only have to send in one fork leg. All the valving is uh, done on the left side, so easy to do. And similarly with the right side, when you want to change your spring rate, you don't have to do both fork legs. You just have to do it on the right hand side. So you only have to buy one fork spring as opposed to two and you only have to send in one fork leg, the left one, when you want valving changes. So not only is it a simple system that weighs about a pound and a half less, but the performance of it we found in our testing uh, exceeded the conventional forks that we were using previously. So again, the SFF fork from Showa, you're only going to find it on the 2011 KX250F.